So welcome everybody to another Behind the Theme. Today we will continue our series on the gods of Robert E. Howard's Conan, the Barbarian. Today's gods are those of some of the smaller, darker cults of Hyboria. They are Jabal Shag, Bell, and Derekito. First up is Jabal Shag, the Lord of Beasts. Once all animals, including man, worshipped Jabal Shag and all spoke the same language, but this was in ages past, and now he is all but forgotten, except for the smartest and strongest of animals who remember the earliest days. He is still though a god of all beasts who lurk in wild places, and men who act like beasts. His laws are those of fang and claw, and is worshipped almost universally in the Black Kingdoms, as well as among the tribes of the Pictish wildness. Jabal Shag can enter the world as one of several natural animals, or he might send one of his lesser animal totem gods, such as Jula, the black gorilla god, or Jil, the knighted god of ravens, or even their servitor creatures to do his bidding. It is said that Jabal Shag likes to come out at night, and those who have seen him only speak of his eyes burning like yellow coals in the darkness. His goal is the satisfaction of his primordial needs of pleasure and has done so for millions of years. When men came to be, he was the one to teach them to rip and tear one another like beasts. But the only men now who remember his ancient language are his descendants. This happens in legend, in the groves, in Pictland and the Black Kingdoms, where Jabal Shag is said to visit and pleasure himself with females of the animal kingdom. Priests of Jabal Shag are usually tribal shamans or witch doctors, which as we mentioned before, are sired by Jabal Shag. They worship him by hearing his whisperings in the wind and bringing meat to his altars in sacrifice and women to his sacred groves. Those who serve Jabal Shag are not only able to speak with animals who serve the Beast Lord, but also learn the secret of the magical symbol of Jabal Shag, an ancient mystic sign which even the wildest animals is cowed before and stay far from. Next is Bel. He is the god of thieves worshipped in Zamora, and people such as the Zwagir nomads and the thieves of Ashkalun. According to legend, in the time of the Elder Gods, Bel used his dark powers to conjure up an army of undead thieves to plunder the wealth of all nations. In desperation, the people of Shem called upon the goddess Ashtoreth for help. In the ensuing battle, the goddess severed Bel's sixth arm and drove Bel into exile in present-day Damora. As fitting for the god of thieves, none, even his worshippers, have seen the face of Bel, but several idols and amulets depict him in various forms, such as a stocky dwarf with a grinning face, a six-armed elephant man, and a lithe, pantherish human wearing a black mask. Bel is worshipped, or at least paid lip service, by all who earn a living by thievery. The priesthood of Bel is independent in each major city or region to prevent the frequent actions of one thieves' guild or temple from affecting another. In areas with a single strong thieves' guild, the temple or shrine of Bell is usually connected to the guild hall via underground tunnels. And if there are competing guilds in the same city, such as in Aragon, the underground temple is recognized as neutral ground by all sides. To maintain their benefits, priests of Bell may never buy or trade for anything. Should they slip, Bell can only be appeased by a sacrifice of stolen goods ten times the value of the item purchased. Priests of Bell speak their own secret language, and as for thieves themselves, they identify each other usually by invoking the words in the name of Bell. Last for today is Derakito, a goddess of fertility and lust, originally worshipped in Shem. The sign of Derekito is the fish, which represents her power of fertility and life. 
and is frequently associated with the life-giving river of the Styx. In Kush, however, she is worshipped as Derakita, the malevolent queen of the dead. Derakito can be found among the pantheons of many southern kingdoms, particularly Stygia and Kush. In Stygia, in particular, Derakito is a decadent, licentious deity, a religious counterpoint to the strict and humorous devotions to Set, the serpent god. Nearly all Stygian cities contain a grand temple to the goddess, where young girls are initiated into the erotic mysteries of Derakito. Initiates often serve as courtesans to Stygian nobles and high priests, while priestesses of the temple practice the arts of pleasure with devotees in return for contribution to the temple coffers. Followers of Derokito celebrate the harvest and the equinox with wild, wine-soaked orgies that invoke the goddess's life-giving powers. And though the arch priests are set frown upon their wanton rituals and want the religion driven from their kingdom, they know that the noble families and the merchant class would never permit it. So there are some less well-known darker gods of Hyboria. If you want more content like this, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. Thank you very much. Till next word.